Welcome Exile! This video will cover how to set up a dedicated server hosted on Pink Perfect and get you up and playing the game. Conan Exiles Age of Heroes has arrived! If you've never played the game, this is a good time to dip your feet into a really great game. Wonderful to play with friends, whether it's co-op or multiplayer. I've run multiple Conan Exile servers in the past, both Exiled Lands and Isle of Sipta, having had the pleasure of gaming with some simply amazing builders who would put my square shoeboxes of a base to shame indeed. I will leave a link to the Age of Heroes update info in the description, but one of the new cool things in this update is not just the companions which is one really cool thing as well but for me specifically the concept of living settlements where the thralls are being transformed into well living breathing people not players but npcs who move around in your base or your settlement and socialize and as you see sleep hunger rest and of course help you defend your base against the tax, for instance. And this is something that I think is really cool and appeals to me because I want to have a base that feels alive, not just static with, you know, workstations and that's it. I think this part is something for old players to come back and experience. If you're looking for a local dedicated server instead, let me know and I might make a video covering that as well. But here's how to sign up and get one running with Ping Perfect, which is a hosted server. In other words, you pay them monthly and they handle all the hardware patches, ensure the server hardware is running smoothly while you focus on being the server admin and playing instead. Great when you play with friends and need a 24-7 solution. Head over to my affiliate link which I will put in the description below and take note of that discount code which we'll be using later for a great 10% recurrent discount for as long as you have the server. We're gonna go here and click on game servers and games which will bring up a very long list of actually other multiplayer games. We can then search for Conan and we'll see Conan Exiles that we'll click on. That will bring up this first page which will have some of the benefits of having a server with Pink Perfect. We'll see it comes with instant setup, well almost, it takes a few minutes, 24-7 support, game switching, DDoS protection, fastest hardware, where they actually have good hardware and they continually upgrade it, global locations, which is really good for me, backup, free web hosting, the game panel is really easy to use, and there is a money back guarantee. If you go down here, if you've never used a service before and you are a little bit on the fence, you could order a 48-hour trial as well, which is free. But for now, let's go and customize and go to set up our server. Firstly, I'm going to go up here to the top left and change it over to USD because that's a little bit easier for me as well. We'll look at the game slots. 15 is the default and that's 15 concurrent players, not total on the server, just how many can be playing at the exact same time. With location, let's switch it over to, let's say, let's go and look at Chicago. If you're running a really big server, you could consider that extreme performance. You don't necessarily need that for a normal server, but if you have a really big server that requires the performance, it is an option that would cost more. RAM allocation, start with 7 GB default. If the server grows very big, you might need to bump it up later on, but we can do that, well, later on. CPU priority, I tend to go for normal. Storage type, I go for just standard SSD. You can go for a faster one, but normal is not an issue. Branding, we want to switch to branding because it will give us a little bit of a discount every month, which is helpful. And that brings us to about 21 USD monthly. You can bring this down further if you select a longer billing cycle, which allows you to do quarterly, semi-annual, annually. I normally would suggest going semi-annually because it'll give you 10% off. Then we put in the host name, let's do VED test with the password. Let's do VED1, not that it really matters. In this case, just make sure you keep an eye and write down that Arcom password. And if you're not migrating from a different servers, then you wanna just hit continue. Have a look at what you're ordering. All this can be changed later on, including the location, but it's just faster to make sure everything is ready and correct now. We're gonna go down here to the promo code and write in Vidui. Hit validate and it should pop up having a nice 10% recurring discount. So we're down to just below 19 USD. Hit checkout. If you're not already a customer, you do need to fill out the customer details with your information, put in a password and so on, and then choose what payment method you want to have. PayPal is probably easiest. We can do credit card, pay safe card, Squill bank transfer, or even Bitcoin. Then read the terms of service, take it in, and complete the order. 
At this point, Ping Perfect backend systems will be setting up the server, which takes a few minutes. Keep an eye on your email inbox because you will get a few emails, including the order confirmation and then information on the server setup readiness, along with the web page to go to and the password to log in. Once you receive the notification in your email box that the server has been set up, it will direct you to the gamepanel.pingperfect.com, type in the username and the password, which is in a separate email, and then hit log in. And it'll bring you to the Conan Exile server. We're just going to stop it because we want to configure it first before we restart it. We go to configuration files and then we have a bunch of settings here. Server settings, game ini, etc, etc. Whitelist, blacklist and so far. We're going to check config editor for our server settings. There are a bunch of settings here and if you're not sure, go to this link and it'll tell you a little bit about the settings. I'm going to go down to admin password. I'm just going to set one because I don't like to have a non-password here. We're also going to set a server password again to not keep it a public server where anyone can log in. And we're going to hit save and exit. We're going to go down here to the engine.ini and we're going to select a new password for the server. Let's let wed, wed one, not wed one and hit save and exit. Now, what about if you want to run the Isle of Sifta? You then go to the command line manager and you will see that the default one we have is just using the normal Exiles lands. And if you want to play the DLC Isle of Sipta, you have to select this one. I'm not going to do that one, but you could if you want to play Isle of Sipta or you can do a custom one. But now we're going to hit start and have a look at the connection info. We're going to start the game here and pass by this. We're going to go to play online. PVE because that's what we're selected right now and you can go down here to direct connect and type in the IP in port which is what we found on the pink perfect side I'm going to do the password as well which was ved1 and we're going to hit ok and that if everything is running properly means that we should be able to log in as you see we are logging in and we're doing the character here if I can quickly bypass this. And there we go. Welcome to another pinkperfect.com game server. And we are on our server. See how easy that was? And now you can just share the connection details and the password with your friends. And they should be able to connect as well. And you can all play together. And if ever you run into any issues, you can go to the knowledge page, which has some information of all the game servers, or go to get support and open a ticket. And Pink Perfect staff will be happy to help you. There are a bunch of other things you can do as well. You can go to the mod manager, file manager. Of course, when the game has an update, you want to do update server from Steam as well to make sure the server is kept up to date. You want to go to the Steam Workshop. You can install a bunch of different mods as well. I used to play with a bunch of extra building mods. You probably want to make sure you do backup your save data, do some scheduled tasks to do regular backups every few days. If you have an issue, restore same save data or wiping the current world if you want to restart and so on. Just a bunch of things that you can do once you get things up and running. But for now, I'm going to go and explore the world of Conan. See you next time, Exile.